For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to provide a short recap of things we've uh, accomplished so far as we conclude week five of our 16-week course. And I want to share with you a couple of links that I think will be useful for you at this point in the, our process of developing our literature review. So we have one week. Next Friday, March 5th, will be our due date for completing our literature review. And uh, some of you are sending me emails for you or for me to check your work. And before you ask me to send or to review your work, I'm going to ask that you try to have your draft completed. That is your introduction paragraph, your body paragraphs, and the last paragraph called the transitional paragraph have that completed as well. Remember that the research questions are going to be in your last paragraph, that transitional paragraph. And here you'll see the pages that I'm asking you to review as you uh, review your text. Before you send your document to me and you want me to review it, I would ask first that you review primarily these first two pages. Number one, the literature review guide. Here you'll find a lot of different points, uh, things to consider, uh, words to avoid. Try to take a look and become familiar with this page. As you, you're checking your own work, I would take each one of these in turn and check your entire document. For example, third person. Double check, make sure that you're writing in the third person throughout your entire literature review. Words to avoid, take each one of these. Try, try to search first for absolutes. Make sure you're avoiding words like always, never, no one, everyone. Make sure you're avoiding words like important, importantly, importance. Look for phrases like it is important, it is necessary, it is vital, it is essential, it is good, it is bad, it is great, it is, it is horrible. These are phrases we also want to try to avoid. Check for the word people or person. We want to try to avoid that word as well. Look for the word very, V-E-R-Y. We want to avoid that. If you have the word very, V-A-R-Y, that's okay. But try to avoid the adverb very, V-E-R-Y. Try to avoid phrases like without a doubt, obviously, clearly, as simple as it may seem. Okay, we want to try to avoid these phrases as well. Double check all of your work. Take each one of these, as, as I'm doing here, and check your entire text. This is something you can do again at the very end, but before you ask me to look at it, try to find uh, ways to correct uh, yourself before you ask me to take a look at it. We've got the passive voice. Try to avoid the, the future tense for the most part. Okay, Most of the time, it's going to be best to keep it in the simple present. Uh, the... Present pronoun. Be careful with overusing that. I've got some list here about APA. We've talked about some of these, but check yourself. See what you can find regarding APA. This same page where you'll find this video in Notion, you'll also see a sway, a presentation that goes into greater detail some of the aspects of APA that we want to try to consider. Now, this presentation is as of the seventh edition. So some of you I know are still used to uh, some aspects of the sixth edition, which in some ways is different than the seventh edition. So you might want to double check here to uh, refresh your uh, memory in terms of some of the latest changes that were implemented in the seventh edition. Okay, this is can be found in the Notion page. So double check this page called Literature Review Guide and also check out the Notion page called Meal Plan. This is going to be specific to body paragraph development, and this relates to the types of sentences and the placement of the different types of sentences that you're including in your body paragraphs. So take a look at this page as well. Again, try to look at these pages and become familiar with the content as you're developing your own literature review. When you ask me to uh, take a look, I'm going to ask that you first take a look at these two pages. You may also benefit from reviewing the page called Introductory Paragraph. This is going to include all the information 
that you need to include in this very important yet one single paragraph that's going to occur at the very beginning of your literature review. Remember, your thesis statement will be at the end of your introduction paragraph. Just below or just after your introduction paragraph will begin your first main section or your first level two heading. If you need to, take a look at this page called Transitional Paragraph. This is the paragraph that will conclude your theory. This is going to be the very last paragraph. And in this or on this page, you'll see exactly what you need to include in this paragraph. So take a look at that. I've also included a link to the APA guide with more uh, information about APA if you need it. I've also included or embedded this presentation. So take a look at that. And what I'm going to do once your draft is uh, com fairly complete, I'm going to also share with you a uh, an analysis. Okay, I have an add-on in my Word document that is called Grammarly. And so I'll also share with you kind of an analysis where it will select different parts of your text. And uh, we'll see some examples of that a little bit later. But uh, I like to do this at the very end once um, most of your text has been completed and most of the aspects that I mentioned in these pages in Notion have been addressed. But uh, I'll show you uh, this kind of analysis also at the very end. But again, I don't like to jump to this Grammarly analysis until we get closer to our final draft. All right, so today is, again, February 26th. We have one more week to complete it. Uh, complete your final draft. Looking at the calendar, I'm going to ask if you're going to request feedback from me to take a look at your document. I'm going to ask that you request feedback no later than next Wednesday, March 3rd. Since we're getting close to the due date, I'm going to ask that after the 3rd, then I would rather you just spend time making those final changes and trying to get your text completed by the due date on Friday. Okay, if you send me a request for feedback on the 4th, for example, on Thursday or, or even Friday, I may not get back to you in time and, and, and uh, you know, you may not have time to make those final changes. Okay, so uh, March 3rd will be the last day that I'm going to ask that you send requests. If you have serious concerns and need to talk about your research, then you need to reach out to me as soon as possible. If you have serious concerns about your, your paper, you need to contact me so we can have a discussion and uh, we can talk about, you know, your, your research. Today, the 26th of February, I'm going to uh, be online at uh, noon. And right now it's 11.16. So at uh, noon, I'll be online. For those of you who have serious concerns, I would, I would rather talk to those of you who have uh, serious concerns about your research so that we, I can help clarify your doubts. All right, so let's try to finish up. Remember, we also need to be uh, reaching out to our participants. I hope at this point that everyone is confident that you found participants for your study. If you haven't, we basically have one more week to reach out to those and to try to get confirmation or any necessary permissions that we're working on, working on that as well. I really want to begin on March 8th uh, with our data collection, knowing that you uh, that you have your participants that you need in order to answer your research questions. All right, guys, so we'll uh, talk to you soon. Again, let me know. Keep me posted about how things are going. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in our next uh, tutoring session.